Hi, how are you? Welcome to the channel. This is Color and Chat with Joanna. Um, hold on one second. There we go. Okay. How are you guys doing today? So, did you see it? Did you see Handmaid's Tale last night? Do you want to talk about it? Oh my God. Somebody needs to pull up the dessert cart to my table and I'm going to shoot out the tires. Oh, it was so stressful. I mean, it was literally stressful. It was like super duper crazy. And uh, I don't know what is going on with that woman. Okay. So today I'm um, going to do a quick color along just to pop up to say hello to everybody. I don't know where my box is. He's in here somewhere. Um, but I'm kind of not going to work on him right now. <laughs> I mean, really, do you guys get like coloring book overload where you're just looking at it and going, oh, where do I begin? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I definitely wanted to try something different. I'm looking for a really super busy page, though, to do it. That's pretty busy. Actually, this could be fun, too. Um, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I just, oh, I love this book so much. I kind of feel like I want to color everything in it now. Like right this very, very minute, but I can't. So I know that's not going to happen. But we can try to play a little bit along. Um, okay, my broom pruners are across the room. We're just going to Prisma color it today. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're all doing well. Um, it is Wednesday. The week is halfway gone. Don't ask me where it went because I ain't got a freaking clue. Oh my God. Like the time. I mean, it, it's catching up with me in the nastiest, ugliest way. I have no clue. Okay. Let's do, let's make a flower. You want to make a flower today? Anyway, so, um, No news yet on the family end. We're still waiting. And uh, I'm kind of thinking right now that no news is good news. So, um, so many people are just having all kinds of health issues lately. It's sort of the season, I guess. I don't know why. But uh, still, arm is still sore as all get out. From the um, the shot. I'm telling you about this shot. Oh, my God. Oh. And now they're actually talking and saying we might need to get boosters. Possibly um, if the new variant shows up. So, anyway, keep your ears out and keep your mind open. And we'll just see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, yesterday was the perfect after horrible, tornadic, crappy weather, um, is this a Spanish? No, there's a Spanish orange, I think. Yeah, this is, yeah. Orange Española, and it is so pretty. It hardly looks like an orange, but it just blends beautifully and makes it some color flower. Do you see it? Hold on, do I need to come in a little bit? I'm probably a little bright on the lighting too. But uh, yeah, so we watched Handmaid's Tale again. Because <laughs> they release it like at 10 o'clock at night or, you know, sometimes midnight the night before. Oh, it is so weird. Um, Try not to give anything away, but... I'm just getting a little confused about June altogether. I mean, what is going on with this lady? Like, is she trying to kill everybody she meets? Good God. Every time somebody gets caught up with her, they wind up run down by a train or thrown on a wall or shot. My gosh. It's never ending with this girl. Needless to say, I don't think I'm taking any chick trips with June anytime in the near future. 
she does find the weirdest situations to get herself into. But um, they are greenlit for season five. So something between season four and season five is going to have to go bob boom. And I can't wait to see it. I'm kind of along for the ride. It's interesting. It really is. And uh, so we're just going to see how that goes. But yeah. Um, what am I doing? Oh, my girlfriend, one of my subscribers, um, gave me a cool recipe. And so it's going to be that kind of a night. Uh, I definitely have to cook. But, um, I have so much housework to do right now. I don't even know what I'm doing sitting here gabbing along, jibber jabbering about this and that. <laughs> I just felt like coloring for a minute and you know, I wanted to keep up with everybody, which is not easy right now. Um, the diamond painting is coming along. Thank God I'm getting some of the busier. I'll show you how far I've gotten. Hold on. Because I got to tell you, I'm so hooked on this stuff. It's like my drug of choice now. Hang on. Here we go. This is how far we've gotten. Look, we have we have books. Right here are the books. And then I'll show you where we are in the scheme of things. She is going to take a minute. Um, but it's getting exciting. See, right here are the books and the star and the cup. Um, and the saucer and the butterfly on her scarf. Now, this butterfly looks really bright right now. It's supposed to look more like kind of blending in. So I'm, I'm, I'm not finished with all the colors in here. And we are starting on her neck. These are beautiful colors. There's three different ABs in here. Pink, uh, skin tone, and white. So, uh, yeah, I, I hope we're going to get all the shading we want. But anyway, so that's where we are. Um, I'm taking a day off from her because I really picked at it a lot yesterday. And I don't want to get frustrated and rush and binge out on it. And, um, you know, I wanted to color in my book, too, because I'm not giving up coloring. It seems like some people believe you have to do one or the other, uh, either diamond paint or a color. And I am not, no. I'm not really, I'm not really in that window. I think you can do both. And I mean, you should, you should broaden your horizons. You should try every kind of cool thing. I mean, every cool thing that you can, you know, hold on a moment. I'm going to get the, um, if I knew where I put things, gosh, I'm such a disaster. <laughs> I really am. Every time I think I'm getting organized, I'm not. No, not in here. It ain't in there. Um, here they are. I want to get a pop of color on this flower because she is the uh, centerpiece and I want her to be boom all over the place. So I wanted to find something like a goldy. Here it is. Not everybody's a fan of these, I know, but I love them to just mix in with the crayons. Um, the pigment is ridiculous. Look at that. And you just give it a little rub with your finger. And there it goes. Do you see the difference? I see the difference. Very hard to show the difference when you're on camera, but I will photograph uh, part of her on the Insta when I'm done with her so that you can see. And then you got to put a little bit of a brown, goldy, terracotta kind of color in there because sunflowers are not just yellow. They have a lot of variations. Are you seeing this? Are you getting it or, or am, I, am I showing you? Hold on. The right way. There we go. I got a little more, a little more detail. There you go. A little bit more. Um, anyway, so yeah, uh, been doing lots of organizing. Oh my gosh. 
my closet monster. Woo, honey. She is so bad right now. I'm not kidding. Hot, hot, hot mess. And I've, I've given away like, I think, eight hefty bags full of clothes and I still have crap in there. Don't ask me how that happens. I don't know. It's, it's completely confusing to me. But it's definitely time for clean out. Now, the whole spark joy thing, I'm not sparking. I got to tell you, the cleaning out of the closet is not sparking joy. It is a one-way trip down anxiety lane. And, oh, man, I am so stressed out because, you know, they say, oh, you haven't worn in a year. Let it go. Hang on a minute. I'm going to do a little bit of brownish in there. Ooh, that turned out fun. Um, If you haven't worn in a year, let it go. Who's worn anything in a year? I mean, it's been a year of quarantine. Where are we going? So, of course, I don't want to get rid of some of my evening clothes. But let's face it, I'm not going to wear those anytime soon. They don't really fit. And then you try to convince yourself, you know what? I'm going to lose weight. And when I lose weight, th that dress is going to look great again. But it ain't. <laughs> so I'm not, um, I'm not negotiating with the uh, sparking joy terroristic attitude of letting everything go. But I do definitely want to lighten up my load. Because even with... Um, quarantine over I don't know that I'm going to be jumping into six inch heels anytime soon although I just do have a hard time parting with my shoes because they're kind of like you know they represent oh I got these shoes just for that charity event or just for that dance or you know it's so weird how you emotionally attach to clothing that you don't even, oh my God, that looks terrible. Hold on, let me back it up a little bit. There we go. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, you just, you, you get emotionally attached to some things that, you know. So I've decided, okay, we'll let some of the clothing go. We'll keep the accessories. But I really don't need all these shoes, people. I'm starting to look like Imelda Marcus in there in that closet. It is bad, bad, bad. And... <clears throat> I'm probably not going to be doing super high heels in the near future or ever again. I may not need them. So, um, yeah, so it's time to have a big shoe clean out. But you know what happens. You go in the closet and you start with a shoe and then you're into this and into that. And you're going, oh, look, look what else is in my closet. I'm telling you, everything's living in that closet right now. I mean, it is out of control. It's got to quit. So I'm not really sure. I just love how that smudges in like that. And then Prismas, of course, they play nicely with any kind of medium. And they really do. They're just like the little workhorse of my pencil collection. You know, I mean, some things I love to use a nicer pencil in. But these are just, oh my gosh. I think I, I think everybody feels the way I feel about the Prismas. They're just little workhorse pencils. They just, they, you know, they're not going to quit on you and they're not going to be crumbly and bumpy. Although I just said that and look what happened. <laughs> I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. Push too hard and then you get crumbs. But, um, yeah, so it's spring cleaning and coloring and I am so I feel like I'm in the wasteland or something like a forgotten misfit toys because I have been waiting and waiting and waiting for the diamond painting order that I placed weeks ago and so I'm gonna have to do that thing again with diamond art club hey you know attic number one two two five here where's my stuff oh so frustrating they really have some serious time issues. I mean, they're just not reliable. When they say something is in stock, you kind of think, oh, it's in stock, I'll order it. No, 
No, no, no, no, no. It might be in stock when we print more and we'll take your money and just let you sit for a month or two. This is very frustrating to me. I don't understand why. And I would love someone to educate me, but nicely. Don't get ugly about it. I'm frustrated. I'm new to all of this. And I don't understand why there's always such a horrible wait time. You know, I mean, <laughs> I swear. And it's so, um, I don't know, I'm probably sounding a little junior high about the whole thing. I mean, there are people starving all over the world. I'm worried about a diamond painting, please. I need to let that go. I think I need to let that go. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to let that go. Okay, so this is basically what I'm doing with her today. Putting some little terracottas and browns and a lot of orange and yellow and trying to give her a real depth kind of thing for a sunflower. So um, what are you guys working on? What are you coloring today? Because I could just color all day, but I can't because I got a vacuum and I had a clean floors. I mean, I have to dust. I have to do like real ugh, grit work, which we're all so excited about, right? <laughs> Not even. Not even. But I can't wait for the magic wand to wave. I just got to get up and do it, I guess. But yeah, yesterday was perfect after tornado day. The weather was so beautiful. It was 60, 6 degrees, 67. Um, still a lot of crap in the air because I still wound up having to take a Benadryl when I kept, when I got back in. But oh, Fiona just was so happy. And, you know, she's just laying out with me on the patio. And we're sitting and I'm having a coffee and enjoying the weather. And then the birds. Those birds, I don't know what to do about these birds. I don't want to sound like a mean person, but they are taking over my house and my life. And I am not a bird girl. Not a bird girl. Got to get these birds out of there. What am I going to do? I mean, they're in a big bush right outside of my patio, hanging out. They live in the patio. I've had them fly in the house I don't know how many times. Um, I don't even get freaked out about it anymore, I swear. <laughs> But Fiona, I mean, George is like, you know, he's like the little skunk on Lady and the Tramp. Oh, flower. Hello, birdie. I mean, he really is pretty nice to cats and birds and that kind of thing. Fiona, Fiona turns into a nose pointing hound dog. She thinks that she can hunt a bird. I mean, come on. Have you seen my dog? <laughs> She can barely scratch her back leg. She's so fat. Her and I both have to go to Jenny Craig. We have pigged out. I don't know what happened. Somewhere between January and last night, um, we fell off the wagon. The big wagon, you know? So it's definitely going to be time to uh, give her a quick once over. And I gotta get her, I gotta get her on some diet food or something. Or really just get more exercise because I'm so worried about her in the summer heat. She's not gonna be doing great. I'm not gonna be doing great either. But hopefully the pool people came out to look at the pool yesterday because it's pretty much been neglected like crazy since the last oh, I don't know, July, August. They closed, you know, it wasn't a really big pool season since we were all worried about the pandemic and didn't do a lot of swimming. But um, yeah, so things are happening. Things are happening. It's getting exciting. And I'm starting to see that people are opening up for exhibitions. There is a fabulous Van Gogh live exhibition where they basically just spill it and paint it on the walls and it drips down and it moves around and it's all Van Gogh work and of course story night is the big one of all but I think we're going to get to go to it 
I told John, I was like, you know what? They're still not giving an actual release date, but they are promoting it. So it's got to be happening soon. So um, I can't wait to go see that. And you bet I'm going to stream the crap out of it. I'm going to get my phone and we're going to get hooked up and something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I may have to stream it through Patreon. I'm not sure. I definitely can upload it, you know, from YouTube. But until I have a thousand followers, I really can't do live streaming with my phone. So help a girl out. Come and subscribe for me, please. <laughs> I would love it. But um, yeah, you can take therapy and service dogs. So we're definitely going to take the kids. And um it's going to be so exciting for them. They're going to they're going to be like, wow, people. <sighs> George. My son is using George for date bait. He took him out last night. He, I'm not kidding. He doesn't ever want to walk George at night. Okay. He'll walk him during the day, but he doesn't like walking him at night. And I don't know why. He's like weird. Anyway. So he, uh, he comes out to the patio, I guess, for something or another. And, oh, look, this is orangey, too. It's kind of pretty. I like that. Um, And he sees a pretty girl. And he's like, George, we got to go. We got to go. And he grabs the dog leash. And I was like, what are you doing? I got to walk George. I was like, well, take Fiona, too. No, no, I'm just taking him. I'll, 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 I'll be back for her in a minute. And he wrestles this dog out the door running like the building is on fire. I'm not kidding you people. He is like, come on, let's go. And literally George just runs right up to this young lady and he's like, hey girl, hey, how you doing? Because <laughs> George is a gigolo and that's what he does. And I'm not kidding. My son is just holding the leash gun. Um, Yeah, sorry about that. My dog is just kind of weird. He just... uh. He has a really, he has a, th he, he actually said this. My dog has kind of a thing for pretty women. Could you vomit or what? I'm like, dude. Anyway, she, she talked to him for a few minutes and, you know, George mauled all over her and David just uh, took advantage of the moment and tried to hook, you know, a phone number. But the girl was like, I'll see you later. I gotta go. <laughs> Now, mind it, mind you, my kid is cute, but he's not like a girl, like hunter in any way. He's actually very shy, and I think that's why he's uh, dragging George around. But it was kind of cute. It was kind of cute to see him running out the door so quickly. And of course, you know, I had to go snoop and see what was going on because I'm that girl. <laughs> I'm nosy. <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <clears throat> so I said I was going to keep it short, and here we are. Um, listen, I'm going to continue working on her, and I will put her up for you. Uh, I probably will do this next time we meet, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be diamond painting, and then we're going to be coloring, and diamond painting and coloring. Oh, and I saw um, Zucchini Kitty, uh, Karen. Hey, Karen, if you're listening, big, big hugs. I saw this thing she did. Um, and I'm going to try to copy her. I'm going to try. I'm, I'm totally influenced and I'm going to see if I can do it. Um, <clears throat> where she did it on a really busy page and she had like a, like a monogram of a letter and, but she uses more distressed inks. I use these because they're a little more affordable and I get that same pigmented color. So, uh, you guys use whatever you have around, but anyway, we're going to try to do what, what Karen did and go over and visit her on her site. If you want to, oh my God, she's so talented and so sweet and so good at what she does. Um, and tolerates, uh, people like me who fan out on her. Okay. Well, I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other and shine on. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Boom.